So today's video is actually brought to you by a really good friend of mine, and his name is Gigi Pineapples, right here. Oh, well, do you know what? Right here works a whole lot better. And uh, yeah, that's right, aka Jared, also known as the GG Pineapples, the first person to collect all the G Fuel shakers, has actually sent us a care package today for me to do finish my G Fuel journey of tasting all the flavors to have existed. And I'm really excited because he sent us this package, and in this package, we got flavor we got flavors ranging from mystery all the way to the new bubblegum nemesis tea. I'm just really, really grateful that he he was gracious enough to send this for me, and I will be sending another care package. I'll be sending a, uh, my own care package to him, and hopefully you guys can catch that on Twitter, so make sure that you both follow us. Bro. Bro. This dude. This dude is way way too nice this dude sent me a brand new shaker oh my gosh this is one of the ones i haven't collected I, it's the clitus i think this is a uh, ajax this is the ajax shaker dude it is a whole lot cleaner in person like look at that look at that let me cover my face up Look at that. We got the white gamma label right here. We got G Fuel Energy in white right here as well. We got the famous white top. So kind of the winter white shaker design right here. And then we have like a black one right here. I don't think I've ever seen a black one. Um, do you know what I have? The blackout shaker. Blackout shaker is pretty dope. Dude, like this is wild. Like really, really wild to get an ajax shaker what a kind dude like what a kind he did not have to do that like i gotta i gotta send him a quick a thank you text so there's a lot of dude dude i might have to my so there's two scoops he sent me two scoops of the rarest g fuel flavor this is two scoops of peach cobbler Dude, three scoops of the discontinued of peach mango. Bro, I think the only one that you can get in the world of a peach mango is, I think in Australia. If you go to eBay right now, the last time I checked. Bro, that is super, super nice. Nemesis tea, three scoops. This dude went above and beyond to share part of the collection he had like he had no like no obligation um i was willing to like just share like i asked if he could just send flavors over um that i was missing i sent him a list and i was like i'll pay you like above the scoop rate like let me know and he was like no no, no i got you covered boy i got you covered bro and he really really did got me covered grapes this is three scoops of grape like bro this is orange uh caffeine free three scoops like what like what did the camera zoom into that that is so nice this is the one i'm super super excited for that i have not been able to get a, a sample of that he allowed very very generous this is three scoops of strawberry shortcake. That's Apex. Is it Apex? This is type O. Oh, wild. Wild. Three flavors of three scoops of type O. Oh. That was released about a year ago from the recording. Bubble gum. Dude, this dude was nice. He sent me two scoops of bubble gum. I'm assuming this is like one of his favorites dude we need to bring him onto the show two scoops of bubblegum super super nice and all i wanted was one scoop this is the lemon lime discontinued flavor as well really this is really unique to see outside of its natural habitat within the tub 
Look at that. Two scoops. Two scoops. Bro. We're going to save that one for last. This is Demonade. Bro. This is Demonade. I was like, it looks like a normal powder. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to cheat. This box smells heavenly, to be honest. <coughs> the I'm going to pause the video real quick. Do not sniff g fuel. Yeah. I was just trying to see. But yeah, it definitely smells like cayenne pepper. Um, that is crazy. Like, this dude was above and, like, guava. Three scoops of guava. Like, what am I supposed to say to that? Like, dude, thank you. Like, wow. It, it feels like, like, I'm super, super grateful that he sent it out of his way. Uh, Dub Melon. We got three scoops of this bad boy right here. Dude, I, I feel very honored to have, like, receive this. It feels like G Fuel itself sent me a care package of all these flavors. Bro. That... I'm above, like, I'm just blown away. I don't even know what to say. Like, think he's not enough. And then lastly here, we have mystery. Five scoops of flavor. Like, that is, like, five scoops right there. That, that's a lot. Like, we have five scoops to determine what it is. I heard there's a lot of things about it. And it is jasmine blossom. There's just, um, or jasmine tea. There's different types, but we have a white winter shaker, the ice has melted, um, I honestly thought he was going to send me one scoop, so I, I under, I came under prepared for this video, and therefore I need to go get a scooper to scoop some of this out, wash my hands as well, because they're kind of sticky, okay, so I washed my hands, and, hold on, hold on, I washed my hands, I got an old scooper that I have laying around, yes, with the top broken off, some of you might not like that, um, the mystery flavor, I need to do a little bit more research on it, but it is a discontinued flavor. One of the OG flavors actually released back in the early years when G Fuel was like Gamma Labs. I think, I think it's crazy. I think it's crazy. Yes. Um, so Shock actually released a video, and I don't know if you guys can see it. Shock released a video where he or tweeted out, and there you go. You can see it there where some of his G Fuel started crumbling. I think he he had an old flavor and it just started to crumble. Um, and that's how like a lot of us figured out that G Fuel does go bad. It doesn't mean that you should be saving your G Fuel for years and years. And here's to the first mystery flavor. It's a, I don't know if time has aged the powder, but this one as well. Like, I feel super honored to have one of the OG flavors. I'm going to put that one aside. Like, dude, we're, we're just going to have to rock this one on stream from now on. So, I'm letting it. It's, um, I don't know if the, the original powder was yellow. I don't know if it was, it was clear white. But definitely we see the a little bit of aging within the powder kind of crumbling. Yes, I told Jared, I told Pineapples, you know what, I'll take the risk. Like, I, I, I waive the risk like no, I know what I'm doing. Yes, I, I'm fully accepting the risk like this powder might be too old. No, I'm not going to come back at you <laughs> because the powder was too old. Please do not try this at home. Make sure you drink your G Fuel responsibly. And be smart about if it is powdering up. If it's clumping. What I've also noticed with some people is they're like, why did I clump? Some people like have their hands wet when you scoop your G Fuel as well. I heard that this original mystery flavor was pineapple, but that's not po I don't know if that's possible. Because they originally released a pineapple one before Battle Juice. I've heard people that says tastes like... Um, Pina colada, like, so pina coladas, we're going to give it a good shake, 
Um, for it being kind of old, the powder has like disappeared really well into it. I'm just trying to get it a really good shape. Okay. So there's little there's little specks flying around, but that is totally fine. Okay, that's a little bit citrusy. It's a little bit unique from just sipping the top right here. I don't want to stick my finger in as a powder test. Um, maybe, maybe you can, can scoop, scoop a little, little bit. bit. Actually, Actually, I'm not. I'm not. We're just gonna figure it out along the way. We're gonna take the first sip now. Wait, I didn't have a pack concentrated. Um, it is mystery flavor, so I don't know what it is. We've seen so many mystery flavor items recently too. That plays a lot of mind tricks on you. A lot of mind tricks. I've only found on eBay once 50 packets of the original mystery flavor. Um, and I wanted to do 50 videos trying to figure out what it was. It's very, it's very sweet and very delicate. I'm trying to figure out the flavor profile. At first, it tasted like watered down pineapple, but then I realized that's not even possible because pineapple would be more citrusy, um, whether it would be smell or whether it be smell or whether it be, um, taste. I'm trying to figure out, it, it's bothering me. And I want to say rice milk, which would be horchata. Um, it, it tastes like in horch, um, horchata. Like, it really does. And then it doesn't, there's, there's something in there that makes it on the, on the tip of the tongue, it's, on the tip of the tongue, there's no flavor, but once you get to the middle notes, like at the back, when you start to swallow, there's a lot of, um, that full flavor burst, and it, it tastes like a tea, like, I don't know, off the top of my head, it tastes familiar, but not something I have drank. It is something I have drank as a kid before and it feels like the powder. I'm going to have to go to my local store and figure it out and pick up like the, the packets of powder and taste it because I feel like I have tasted this before somewhere. I don't know if it's rice milk. I don't know. It's, um, it's not, um, let me Google it. Let me Google it. Hibiscus tea. It is some type of tea, like, See the rice milk, um, it tastes like hibiscus tea, it does taste like a tea. Um, I wonder if it tastes like the mystery Kool-Aid flavor. I've tasted this somewhere, but guys, this is like our first care package opening with mystery flavor. T tasting for the first time, we got four more tries to go to figure this out, and I'm on, an, I'm on a mission to figure this out. I've really enjoyed it. Thanks to GG Pineapples for the care package. Really appreciate it. Down below, you can find his direct link to his Twitter <laughs> up here. So give him some love as well because he's got his Pokemon account right here, which you can also find below. And you got his regular. It's awesome to see the collection come up every single time. Really nice dude. Part of the G-Squad. Lifelong member. He also last week at the recording of this video, he hit his one-year anniversary on being a Tier 3 sub. So this is amazing to see this guy in the community. And we'll see where we go at the recording today as well if you did not catch it yesterday on g field squad or on the g stream um i am part of the tier 3 membership really excited to start this journey one week after gg pineapples did wanted to do it that day but i was like that's his um g anniversary uh, g birthday so today's gonna be mine this is really exciting to get to it we got work to do so let's go to it thanks for watching make sure you hit that like button Here's the sub, sub button right here, and you know what to do with these videos. We'll see you next time.